We use electroplated wheels. The first parts have a horrible surface finish before it gradually improves. Why is this, and is there a way around this? Electroplated wheels are just a very different animal from standard CBN bonded abrasive wheels. Number one, electroplated wheels just have a single, single layer of abrasive, whereas with bonded abrasive wheels, you get this layer of abrasive scattered throughout this bond material. But really, they're different because you don't dress an electroplated wheel, and that just changes all the characteristics of the wheel. So if we look at a standard wheel, and we're dressing it, well, probably not with a single point diamond if it's CBN, um, probably with a traverse disc or maybe a plunge roll uh, or a brake dresser. Uh, what we do is we tell the dresser, go down to this certain depth, and then anything that's above that point, get rid of it. Anything that's below that point lives. So what we have is a line that says nothing will be below this line, and then that's where we're going to have the abrasive grits. So what we have is a very true wheel with grits that are following this line. Now, see, uh, electroplated wheels are different. So if we look at an electroplated wheel, what we do is we take the hub, then we put some bond material around it, and then we just start throwing some grits on there. Some of those grits maybe are a little angular. They kind of land flat. Some of them are there, and they kind of land pointing up. And they're just gradual, they're scattered all around this bond material. But there's not really a single line that says, oh, we don't want any grits below this point. So what we have is a distribution. And what we see is some of those grits are standing very prominently above all the others. Or they're kind of what you might call rogue grits, standing very high. Now when we start to grind with this electroplated wheel, We've just got a few rogue grits around the perimeter, and they're acting sort of like a milling cutter. We've just got one or two grits that are doing all the work. Now, those grits are going to be subjected to huge forces. They're going to get whacked off very quickly and f get ripped out of the bond material. But until they do, we've got a grinding wheel with just a few grits around the perimeter, and those few grits are going to give us a very rough surface finish. Then as those grits fall away, more grits that are below there start getting into the action. And when those grits grit in the action, we have what's called an increase in the cutting point density. Uh, more grits in the action mean a smoother surface finish. And now we've got more of a stable regime in terms of surface finish. So what can you do about this? Well, you can either just live with it, or you can ask your wheel supplier to give you a conditioned electroplated wheel where they subject the wheel to a truing process in the factory. So when you get it, a lot of those high rogue grits, or all of them, are knocked off. And so you start off at a point that has more grits in the action, and you get a better surface finish.